Walker. I'm talking about Cisco um, because the company came out and said, you know, and this is also speaks to a trend that you've been talking a lot about, Miles, the supply demand equation. The demand is there. The supply is not. So classically, you get prices going up in that case. So the company came in with earnings and revenue that beat estimates in its fiscal third quarter. They're optimistic that that demand is going to continue. However, it's going to come at a price. The company, in order to meet that demand, is going to be paying up for chips. That's effectively what CEO Chuck Robbins has said. He said the company is opting to, quote, endure short-term pain to make sure it has enough chips to meet its order obligations. And so, um, therefore, we are seeing the stock pull back a little bit, even as the company is saying demand is robust. Um, and we're going to talk to the CFO of the company a little bit later. But, you know, when you look at this kind of dynamic here, um, Miles, again, it really reflects the, the bigger issues that we're facing in the market. And as always, the question for this, because we're talking about inflation, is how long that dynamic is going to last. Yeah, and you know, and Cisco's an interesting company in the context of this rally because they are guiding to top line growth that is better than what the street had been forecasting, but they came in a little short on the earnings side. And you know, Sazi, a company at the life cycle that a Cisco is, big legacy company, um, you know, one of the largest tech companies out there in the world, uh, they don't get to enjoy, oh, well, our top line is growing a little faster than the market, so we, we, you know, we get the benefit of the doubt from investors. I mean, Cisco sits in a different part of the portfolio, and so I think that is why we are seeing the stock under a little bit of pressure with just, again, slightly soft earnings guidance, but you know, indeed, slightly soft earnings guidance. Yeah, I'll just add real quickly to the margins in terms of products and services, the gross margins, that is, they both declined in the most recent quarter. Again, I, I would suspect because of higher unit costs for them as well. But another concern here amongst the analyst community on Cisco is their top line momentum they have seen over the past couple of quarters. Is that just sales being pulled forward uh, during the pandemic? That is undetermined. Looking forward to uh, asking the CFO about that in a little bit. Yes, that should be an interesting conversation.